take three. <laughs> the pugs are making it very difficult to film today. Not Ralph, he's cool. to film today. We didn't do much but yesterday we went to Bristol so we had quite a lot of stuff filmed yesterday and uh, yeah today we'll just show you some of the stuff we bought yesterday. We'll show you the books we bought. We bought other stuff but maybe show it later if, if I don't eat it all. <laughs> and if we're struggling for content. <laughs> yeah. Well anyway we'll, we'll show the books that we bought yesterday and there's a lot of kids books we can save those till the end. And almost all of them we bought in one charity shop. Cancer Research. Shout out to Cancer Research. Even though they didn't let me try on things, but it's fine. Yeah. No, no hard feelings. Yeah. Okay. So the first book, which we didn't buy in Cancer Research, we bought it in Oxfam, is Essays in Love by Alan de Botton. That's how you say his name, probably. I wouldn't, I won't even attempt it. I don't know much about this specific book, but I've read a couple of his other books. Um, one's called The Art of Travel. I really, I really liked it. It was really cool. And Essays in Love, what's not to like about that, right? Yeah. So that's that. I can present the next one. It's Cloud Atlas. I've, I've seen the film. I don't know if the book is like the film. I guess so. I, I don't know much about it either, I just I think it's kind of popular and I think it's quite an intricate kind of plot and stuff, so I thought it could be fun. <laughs> to start on the theme of children's books, this one is called Dad Ventures. Amazing outdoor adventures for daring dads and fearless kids. It's kind of cool, it's just like suggestions for kind of outdoor stuff to do with your kids little games to play and how to make fires and you know stuff like that kind of camping type stuff so yeah I thought it looked pretty cool everything every book here apart from the first one cost either one pound or one pound fifty as well I don't nice. know if you noticed this uh, book is called Only in Govan and it's just some kind of pictures and stories from Govan in Glasgow it's, it's a place in Glasgow uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about this really. It's kind of a fun book, one of those kind of coffee table books. And my family's from Glasgow, so I'm, I'm interested in the history of Glasgow, as as is most of my family. Is it Govan or Govan Hill that's a really rough neighbourhood? Uh, Govan Hill is the place you're thinking of, but they're okay. both not. Not I've, great. I've never been to Govan. I've been to Govan Hill and I thought someone was going to throw a brick at me. Govan is where the call centre is. I used to work. Ah, yeah, yeah. The next one's for you two. And the next one is called The Long Night. William L. Shirer. Don't know who that is. The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. So it's about Hitler and the Nazis. I got... I inherited quite a lot of, uh, like, war books from my grandparents when they died and I've kind of been enjoying reading about World War II and the Nazis and stuff. It's good, good light reading, you know. <laughs> I can do the next one. Is that, is that the end of the adult books? That's the end of the, yeah, what you might call the boring books, depending on how you're, yeah, if you want to take it away. Um, we have The Gruffalo. Do I need to say more? It's a classic. It's a classic? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Um, we also have The Tiger Who Came to Tea. I don't know this book, but as I understand, it's also a British classic. Yeah. By Judith Kerr. I, I will say, I didn't have any of these books when I was a kid. It's just books I've kind of learned about ever since. I'm also by good old Judith, I got Mog, the forgetful cat. Also, don't know what the plot of this one is, but... I read it this morning, it was quite fun. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. She's like a cat that's kind of like the dad gets annoyed at her a lot, you know, she's kind of forgetful and messy and stuff. Like, she's a cat, you know? 
but then she accidentally foils a robbery <laughs> in their house and, and, forgets and, every, about and it? everyone loves her. No, she forgets where her cat flap is. <laughs> so she can't go back in her house. And she comes to the window and paws at the burglar and the burglar gets a fright and the dad wakes up and phones the police. Um, Sorry if you haven't read it. Spoiler alert. Uh, this is the kind of book I would have loved when I was a kid. And we were staying with my sister uh, who has a two-year-old girl just now and this is a book she would totally love as well so we've had to kind of hide it from her. But it's called Sticker Pirates. So it's just a book of uh, Naked. pirates in their underwear basically. And it, the, the back half of the book is all just stickers. It says they're reusable. I don't know if they actually really are but anyway you get to dress the the pirates with whatever clothes you want and there's lots of props and everything, lots of stickers. I don't know, really cool. I, I would have loved this when I was a kid. And uh, yeah, we got it from a charity shop obviously but the all the stickers are still intact. There's nothing. It looks brand new. The next one is build your, make, make this castle. It's a castle model. And you just cut it out and stick it together. And we, we are aware that this is not for young kids and we'll probably just have it sitting in on a shelf for like eight years. But we're okay with it. Yeah, for sure. I would have absolutely loved it as a child, all the little pieces. Yeah, it just sounds like so much fun. Do you think you would have loved having it or would you have loved building it as well? I was above a, like, we keep things forever. Mm -hmm. So I probably would have asked, not asked, or you know, if I got this book, I would have like taken it out over and over again and looked at it and not cut into it and then eventually built it and got bored of it. Anyway, I, I don't know. It looks cool and I'm sure at least we'll get some fun out of it if nothing oh, else. Yes. And it costs a pound, so. The next one, you know those... I think we have company. You guys so fast? Yeah. Should we just quickly I think I think Florence is going to be here for the rest of this. But well, you can't see her, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so the, the next book is one of those books that <laughs> so she, was, she was dragging a, a chair along the whole time anyway i think this is going to be one of those books that is more for the parents than the kids like the parents really want them to play with this one but they, they won't anyway it looks cool um it has all these little flaps it's got little pop-up bits and it's all about space book of many flaps a book of many flaps is her with over 50 flaps. I'll stop saying the words flaps, but <laughs> anyway, it looks, uh, it looks. It looks really cool. Again, I think I would have liked it when I was a kid. Um, so, it's called Life in a Castle, and they describe it as a, a three dimensional book carousel, and it's very, very cool. It opens up into a castle with rooms and stuff in it, and I never had, and I, I don't think I had a single pop-up book as a child. So to me, this is extremely exciting. You can tell what we're excited about. We've got some baby clothes, we've got a baby carrier, and we've got like way more books than any yeah. unborn child needs. Okay, I think we're taking up space in this room, so maybe let's just yeah. quickly finish. We're down to our last uh, couple of days in the UK. Uh, today's Thursday, Thursday evening, we leave on Saturday morning, so um, don't know what we'll do tomorrow, but we're going to this extravaganza thing at night, some kind of Victorian Christmas thing. Sounds pretty cool. So hopefully we'll get some nice footage from that. And, uh, and then it's going to be another day of travel. Another day of travel and then back to Lithuania. Okay, so f all I'll say is uh, thanks for watching and we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheerio! <laughs> That's not good for today. My God. <laughs>